Hi, and welcome to Stories with Wanda. We're going to read a book called Albert's Birthday. It was written and illustrated by Leslie Tryon. Albert's Birthday. When Patsy plans a party, it's perfect. So when she decided to give her best friend Albert a surprise party for his all grown up birthday, everyone knew it would be a perfect party. Once Patsy had the party planned, she called a secret meeting of Albert's friends. On her special pad, she had written out a task for each of them described in detail. I've chosen a spring theme, she said. Flowers, flowers, flowers. It will be a flower extravaganza. The party would be in the school multi-purpose room at four o'clock on Friday afternoon. But how will you get Albert to his surprise party if it's supposed to be a secret? Sir Cedric asked. Patsy held up a note and read aloud. Memo from Patsy Pig, PTA. Subject, committee meeting. There will be an important committee meeting Friday, 4 p.m. in the school multipurpose room. This is his invitation, Patsy said. We know that Albert never misses a committee meeting. Patsy pushed the memo deep into her pocket. All right, she said, it's Tuesday. Bring your projects to the multipurpose room by 3.30 on Friday. Everyone agreed that this was truly a perfect plan. On Wednesday, the first graders began work on the party hats. And on Wednesday, Georgie and Gracie made apple treats and Bess got right to work on the wagons. On Thursday, the puppies folded and painted a huge card. And on Thursday, Sir Cedric began to work on the cake. Finally, it was 3.30 on Friday and everything was ready. There were three lady ladybug flower pots made by Patsy, pretty hats with bouncing bugs and blossoms, a fleet of wagons to carry sweet apple treats, and they all signed the huge birthday card. At exactly 3.59 p.m., Sir Cedric lit the candles on the flowering birthday cake, and Patsy turned down the lights. Shh, she whispered. Everyone got quiet as they waited for Albert to arrive. But... Something was terribly wrong. Patsy felt a piece of paper in the bottom of her pocket. It was the note. I've made a terrible mistake, she said. I forgot to deliver the note to Albert. This was a big problem, but as usual, Patsy had a solution. If Albert can't come to his party, she said, then we must take the party to Albert. As she marched out the door, she shouted, to Albert's house. By the time Patsy and the party parade marched onto the playground near Albert's unusual house, Albert had locked his door and left. Where was he going? Albert? Oh, he just left, Frog said. He's on his way to the bakery to get some chocolate cupcakes. The paraders had been excited about taking the party to Albert's house. But now, what would they do? Quick, my friends, Patsy shouted, to the bakery!
You just missed him, Sir Cedric's assistant said. He went to the apple farm to get a sapling for his garden. Come on now, let's not dawdle, Patsy said. Off we go to the apple farm. And so the party parade followed Patsy out Long Valley Road to the apple farm. It was a long walk and they were pooped. Still, they hoped they weren't too late. Oh no, just seconds after Patsy and the party parade entered the barn to look for Albert, he came out of the orchard. They had just missed him. Albert was about to head home when he heard someone call his name. Hey, Albert, wait. When Albert followed Benny into the barn, he saw a discouraged and tired group of friends. The rooster crowed and Albert shouted, Surprise! Boy, were they ever surprised! Sir Cedric quickly lit the candles on the flower pot cake and they all sang happy birthday to Albert. A surprise party at the apple farm, Albert said. What a brilliant idea. I never suspected a thing. It was Patsy's idea, Sir Cedric said. Patsy is the best party planner in the whole wide world. And everyone agreed. It was just about perfect. And that is the end of the story. Thank you for listening. I'll see you again soon.